Hey, y'all, it's me, Candace and Lynn, with my legal tip for the week. So this month is Single Parent Awareness Month, and for us at Hildu Renee & Associates, we're going to be focusing our channel this month on single moms. Um, we love single dads. Dads, don't comment. Don't send us DMs. Don't send us any nasty grams. We love you, single dads. However, in recent history, we've seen a lot of firms focus on on single dads. There's a lot of information out there about father's rights and what fathers can do to assert their rights. And so for us, we wanted to take a spin and really offer some information for moms because we haven't seen a lot of information out there for single mothers. With that, what are mothers' rights? First, you have a right to have equal contribution from your children's dad in terms of financial and sometimes it may be greater financial contribution if a dad makes more or equal or even less they are required by law to contribute to the rearing of the children um so obviously the most known way to do that is through child support we can do a child support establishment action through um, the courts. You can also go through the private child support services. I don't recommend that unless you absolutely are very, very low on resources um, because sometimes child support services are not as thorough in terms of really getting to what kind of money is available to the children. Um, but you have the right to establish child support through child support services or through a private action. If there's already been child support, but you find that child support is not sufficient, you have a right to a modification of child support under certain circumstances. You also have a right, if there is no financial contribution, to at least have some kind of food, diapers, wipes, um, assistance with rearing the children. And if not, there can actually be criminal penalties. Um, it's called child abandonment, child abandonment. And if you find that your um, children's dad is not giving you money, support, and food, clothing, or shelter, you can ask the court to actually incarcerate the father unless and until he is an active participant in the children's lives. So those are first rights. You have the right to additional support. But you also have a right regarding custody and visitation. If you are a single mother and there was perhaps a visitation plan put in place a couple of years ago and you do not have full custody of your children, Children, but you have changed some things, whether it's through a work situation, a living situation, or whatever, you have a right to a modification of that custody. You also have a right, if you are a mother who has a child who has never been born in wedlock, you have a right to just have that child as your own, unless and until the father establishes legitimation, visitation, and custody. So what that means is we don't encourage you to withhold visitation if the father is a good father, if the father is um, taking care of his responsibility, if he is a consistent force in the children's lives. We do not encourage you to withhold visitation. We actually discourage you from withholding visitation because that could be seen as being nasty or petty. However, what we often encounter are moms who are well-meaning in allowing visitation with a dad who, for all intents and purposes, wants to be a part-time dad part-time papa. <laughs> what he wants to do is pop up when there's something going on at church or if there's a family event, he wants to pop up, pick up the children and take them to show them off, but he hasn't seen them for months. Or he tells the children he's going to come and he may not come. Or he may tell mom he's going to pick the children up and then she gets a call from the school and he's not there. And these moms are distraught because they wonder, what can I do to keep this from happening? Well, the answer is simple. If there is no child support or child custody and visitation order in place, you can withhold visitation unless and until it is in your children's best interest to visit with that other parent. Um, if you are, have children who are born in wedlock and you are divorced, then obviously you do have um, to share the children with their dad because um, he is a legal father and the legitimate father of those children. However, if visitation is not in their best interest and some of those same behaviors I've already discussed is going on, then you have a right to ask the court for a modification. And a lot of women don't think that. They think, well, we were married and we got divorced or we got separated. They're his kids as much as they're mine. And while that's absolutely true, the court has to determine what visitation and custody plan is in the best 
interests of the children. So as a mom, you have a right to make sure that whatever is going on with visitation is in your children's best interest. If you need assistance with helping the courts help you figure that out, then give us a call and we'll be happy to help you with visitation, custody, child support, or any of those things. Please share this video with any of your single mamas out there who are rocking it, um, who need some assistance, who seem to be kind of doing it all by themselves. Let them know that they have options. Um, and we'll be here if you need us. And please continue to watch the channel for the next uh, couple of weeks because we will be going deep diving into custody, deep diving into visitation, and even deep diving into some parenting courses and things like that that can be helpful to you all as single parents. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.